Today is the day we are finally going to rent an RV from Outdoorsy. If you haven't seen our video, Everything You Need to Know Before Renting an RV, check it out up over there. But watch this one first. This is the perfect weekend for us to rent because the weather is really bad. We had plans to take our bounder up to Pennsylvania, but we're at the tail end of a nor'easter. So instead, we're gonna rent a van from Outdoorsy and then we're gonna head south where the weather's a little bit better. So let's head over to the computer. Yeah. Okay, why don't we look a little further south, like Alexandria, the weather's supposed to be better down there. I'm gonna leave the dates open just because it's Thursday and we wanna to leave tomorrow. So I wanna make sure we get a class B. And let's pick our amenities. So gonna definitely wanna have a refrigerator, a microwave, and air, a heater, because it's cold. And then also I want a bathroom and a shower. Gotta stay clean. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, there's a Travato here. That could be interesting. Charlie, 2021, Winnebago Travato. All right, let's go for this one, John. Great. What else do I need, John? I've got the Blackstone stuff. I've got some of my cooking stuff. Man, it's raining. Coming down pretty hard out there. Yeah, I don't think we need else? much else. They seem to have everything that we may need. I'm so scared I'm gonna like not have what I need. I know. When we get there, but I guess we'll take a chance, right? Right. Woohoo! The adventure. Let's go. Let's Here's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm Brian. Um, I'm the owner of a uh, Winnebago Travato uh, 59GL. Um, it's a 2021 Winnebago uh, and I've been on Outdoorsy for about two months uh, and I'm excited to uh, share this van uh, with this couple. Thank you. We'll see what it's like to live in a smaller space more efficiently. I'm the one who's a little nervous. All right well let's let's go take a look at this. I'm really excited because the Travato just seems like a this is specifically what we were looking for if we were yes. going to rent one. Winnebago. And so it's nice. Uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. Awesome. What we do is go through the departure form um, and it identifies uh, the, the times when the maintenance has been performed on the vehicle, as well as a whole bunch of other um, identified condition checks. Uh, go through the responsibilities like additional fees, like if you don't return it um, and dump the gray and black tanks, you know, mm -hmm. there's a fee, things like that. Um, and then uh, there's a damage walkthrough, so we walk through and, and kind of take a look at exterior, interior. I've noted a couple things that I already know about this, um, but then um, as we go and do the walkthrough, anything that you find, uh, we can add to this, and then we'll both, uh, as we go through these pages, you can see that there's owner and renter signatures at the bottom of each one. Okay. So there's no escaping paperwork, no matter what we do? No, have. absolutely not. There's lots of paperwork that goes along with it, but that's to really cover everybody. You pay uh, Outdoorsy for that insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, it kind of covers me as well too, just in case something happens. It's, it's very easy to drive, but you know, I'm used to driving at the big monster we have, so. Does it drive like a van or does it drive no, like a No, it has more? a little more weight to it. It has a, uh, a van is lighter. This what? feels a lot heftier than a normal van. And what's the pickup like? It's I mean, not that okay. we're like pushing it or anything. It's, um, it, when I first started driving to get out of the driveway, you know how you got to that little rut by the uh, at the end of the driveway before you hit the road? I kind of hit it, give it a little more gas than I expected to get out of that. But, 
Um, was your experience part of the reason why you decided to, to rent yours out? Yes. It was one of, uh, I was telling John earlier, it was one of the main reasons why we made the purchase uh, because uh, Class Bs are very expensive compared to other uh, classes and other RVs. Uh, so to be able to recoup some of those costs to rent it out to folks like yourself uh, really kind of helps out or makes that financial decision a little bit easier. Thanks for helping us out. This is great. You know, we're looking forward to renting this a Class B. We've been looking forward to this for a while. So this will be a change from uh, our usual. All right. So th thanks a lot. No, we really, we really do appreciate, it. and we appreciate how thorough you were with everything. Oh yeah. In particular, I mean, you, he, you guys didn't see this, but he went through everything on this Class B with us. So we appreciate it. You're welcome. This is what we arrive in. How do we keep doing this? We always do this. Why? We okay, always turn do. the on. Get the awning out. It's uh, so quiet is in this your part. Is car in the way or no? Oh, darn it. I didn't think about that. So, John, you find that light yet? That's supposed to be here? Huh? Did you find the light yet? No, I need to turn that on. <laughs> Where are you, John? It's, John? It's dark. Where'd you go, John? Oh, there you are, John. Ah, <laughs> scary! <laughs> oh, you know what? They didn't tell us about an EMS or anything. No, he didn't. This doesn't seem right, does it, John? Not quite. We're used to hooking up with an EMS. This is living life dangerously, folks. <laughs> so, I guess this tells everybody to make sure they ask if whoever they're renting from has some sort of an EMS or surge protector. All right. I guess in. we could send him a text message. We could. Just why don't you, yeah, why don't you send him a quick text message saying, hey, do you have a EMS for this unit? Before we plug it in and get and, and become responsible for thousands of dollars worth of damage, I at least want to be on the record asking the question. He was a nice guy. He he seems to have no pressure regulator either. Let me ask him about that. So it's another tip for everyone. If you already have an RV and you're renting one, and you have all the things you need, bring it with you. So John, where do I put my stuff? <laughs> Give me this. I packed lightly for overnight. Over, this is overnight? Yeah. Oh boy. Ah. Once we put this stuff in, there's no room for us. <laughs> Look, we're in a class B now. This is not our rig. Hashtag van life. <laughs> oh, we can't even walk by each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> half of our stuff is still in my Jeep. <laughs> we brought too much. Now, this gentleman, I mean, he really supplied us with a lot of stuff. He gave us coffee and you know hand soap up here our dishes a french press i mean he gave us towels cutting board clorox wipes now we bought our correct because well there's nothing like just having an easy cup of coffee in the morning right john yeah and i mean it's 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 very well stocked it looks clean, but I'm a germaphobe and, you know, <laughs> cutting board, all kinds of anything that you could think of that you need. Plus, you know, bags, Ooh, dust pan and broom, mm -hmm. everything. He even has this closet, you know, place for your shoes, which we won't put ours in there because it's wet and hangers in the closet which is very nice of him to do why don't you grab one of those cans yeah there's so, there is there's some repellent repellent in here i mean he just really stocked this well um for us and even back in the bathroom which i haven't i'm scared to go into anybody else's bathroom but i guess i'll go back here for you guys only for you our friends on youtube so he stocked us with RV toilet paper, 
and he has this product here that he asked us to use RV digest it and we'll definitely do that for him he actually marked a lot of things like here yeah. so we have the height and we have the length and um, no drive-throughs please <laughs> apparently some people have problems well, tell him why you said that, right? Yeah, it can last be through a drive-through, and it'll almost make it, but not quite. You and you know, I'm glad you said that because I wouldn't have thought of that. I would have thought, oh, it's a You're class right. B, it's right. just a van. We could go through a drive-through. But you forget, it has some of the stuff we have on top. Well, he's of got. Ours. He also has like because it's the national park version. Version. Yeah. He has solar up top. Yeah, he has extra and solar. And lithium batteries. Yeah. So this is really good for off the grid type camping which I would have liked to have tried if I if we had had more time right and the weather was better yeah the so maybe we'll rent from him again John and we'll try that like I can't hold it any longer <laughs> it is uh, it is almost 10 15 tonight <laughs> I gotta use the bathroom um, I don't think we want that on YouTube I'm so afraid of using a wet bath I'm it's, so afraid of using somebody else's bathroom. Uh, you don't know how I am. John knows how I am. You are a germaphobe, yes. All right. I'm going to take... <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Go! It's not going to be that bad. We're back, and it was an adventure, van life. Now remember to rate the owner when you get back. Brian was great to us, and we gave him a great review, and they also give renters reviews as well. Be good to the rig, and be good to the owner, because you'll get a rating in Outdoorsy, and that will follow you anytime you rent from them. If you'd like to see a review of the Travato, take a look up here. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of our adventures. And please, put your comments down below. YouTube likes comments. And so do we.